Welcome to our usual uh, Friday evening chat. Yes, I moved it back uh, to 6 p.m. One second, can you, can you hear me okay? Yes. And uh, Happy New Year to Ernie Price, Alex Cruz, Telly Hack, Octavia Berber, and our um, moderator, this traveler, Erico. And um, thank you for being here, and I'll be right back. I know I'm a, co a couple of minutes ahead. <laughs> Grab my beer. I'll be right back. Turn this off here. And uh, hello, everybody, and welcome one more time. <laughs> a nice song. Uh, hey, new hair dude. Yeah, I went to the. I had a, an accident with the lawnmower, and uh, no, actually, I went to the new barber shop here across the street. A new barber shop, and uh, it's pretty good. They did a decent job. Uh, from France, happy new year from France, and in France, it, it's uh, midnight, right? Um, I can hear you, H H N Y. Oh, B H N Y. H New York. Is Pete Viper signs and stuff. What up, B? Marcelo Mertens. Hi, Robert. Greeting from Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Man, I was in Las Vegas two weeks ago. That was a lot of fun. Hello from Weston. Well, that's just uh, north of us here. Uh, Forty-two degrees here. Brr, it's uh. In Miami, I do believe it's in the in the mid high fifties right now. Okay, Google. How's the weather in Miami? Yeah, Google has been kind of sluggish lately. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll just show you. And um, I'm so sorry to to rub it in for all of you covered in snow up north. But it's fifty eight degrees here. It has been a beautiful day. I spent a, lot, a good portion of the day outside painting uh, the house. So I appreciate your videos. Love, love traveling from Soul, uh, Soul Fine Bemeloud and uh, Len, uh, Len Nidik from Pennsylvania and Hamed Postashi. Hello, Robert. Hello, Jose Sayas from Puerto Rico, La Isla del Encanto. Hi from New Jersey. Uh, need to throw some wrenches today. Those who are uh, wanting to get. Uh, Bum, LOL. <laughs> uh, happy New Year's para ti, tu familia. Muchas gracias, cosas buenas, mucha salud. Thank you, Pepe. Uh, what's you drinking? Well, today we're back to, um, since uh, I don't have any Wynwood uh, IPA, we're back to the this uh, Detour IPA that has some kind of Airstream painted on the, bar, on the can. And uh, actually, let me open it up right now. Uh, Eric, I do my own hair. I let it grow out during the winter and buzz it up in the summer. Yeah, maybe I should start doing that. Save some money. Uh, although maybe I should let my hair grow again, you know, like I did like six years ago. Seven degree Western Massachusetts. You know, I, I don't think I've ever been that cold. Uh, from Belgium. All right. 
Time for cerveza. Yeah. How do you? Uh, how do you? Do you know who Roger the coaster is? Uh, hi from New England. Sixteen degrees here, and um, I was in Las Vegas last summer. Yeah, Las Vegas is a lot of it's a lot of fun. Like to visit. Uh, I, I don't know how, how fun it is to live there, but uh, to visit for a couple of days, it's it's always uh, fun. Every couple of years we do it, and. Uh, Hold on. I have to take this, guys. I'll, I'll be right back. That's my mom. I'm sorry about that, guys. That was my mom calling me from the airport. He's, she's flying to Chicago tonight. And I told her I, I'd call her back. Um, MFA share stream. Thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you so much. I always appreciate that. Happy New Year to you too. And um, if, to 2017 for me was very nice. And I, 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 I'm confident 2018 is going to be awesome. Awesome, guys. I, I have so much uh, traveling planned. And hopefully it all turns out well. And health, which is the most important thing. Uh, by the way, if, if I miss one of the comments, uh, oh, they're here. Or here, comment again because I, sometimes I cannot go back. Uh, RV with Tito, it's damp. It's damp uh, up here in the northwest. Go figure. Hmm, damp in the northwest. Isn't it always raining in Seattle? I don't know. Never. That the northwest is one of the areas of the country that I haven't been to yet, and I can't wait. It's just so far away, you know, from South Florida. It's like the other end of the country. But eventually, I'll, I'll make it up there. And, uh, uh, yeah, is that good? Where's the next trip? Well, the next trip, uh, uh, for those of you who haven't heard, well, it's Tampa in two weeks for the, for the Tampa RV show. And then I'm heading out west, uh, catch all the other uh, RVers in, in Arizona. Uh, Ernie Price, where's Grandma Patty? Yeah, good question. Uh, today I started a little earlier than usual, so maybe she's on her way. Anyway, I know how to read lips. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny, Eric. Uh, I just told her to to tune into the YouTube app. You know, she's learning, and um, and to see me on her phone from Miami International Airport. I made a road trip uh, in West Coast. Uh, what can you advise for the next time? Well, I've I've only done that road trip from Los Angeles to San Francisco, and that's a beautiful, beautiful road trip. Just to take take the Highway One which is the one that hugs the coast. And I missed a couple of places, but for sure, Monterey is beautiful. And just south of, well, north of Monterey, between Monterey and Half Moon Bay, I think that's, is it? No, just south of Monterey, actually. That's like the best uh, part, which is um, Big Sur and, uh, and the Macway uh, rocks. And there's the Macway Falls, which is in the uh, Julia Pfeiffer State Park. And that whole, that whole area is beautiful, where the mountains just... Uh, going to the ocean. Alex Cruz, my wife says hi. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> uh, Joe Corotro, hi, Robert, from Snowed, New Hampshire. Oh, that whole northeast, you guys, uh, the, the New England is... Uh, uh, <laughs> I've seen some videos. And uh, I saw that video of the cars uh, on, the, on the ice road and, you know, uh, slipping on the, on the ice. That was... Uh, uh, how long have you been living in the United States? Uh, the December 13th, 1988. So it's uh, 29 years right now. And uh, hey, Robert, when are in Union City? Para un cafecito cubano. Oh, Union City, man. I, 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 I've been through Bergen Line Avenue in Union City, West New York, that area. It's pretty good. It's, it's like Miami, but with cold weather, really. That, that's the way it feels sometimes when you, when you drive or walk around those streets. You still have Pollo Supremo. That they, they went out of business here in Miami, but they're still in business in, in New Jersey. Um, how are the kids doing now? I think the kids are pretty much uh, from Holland. I think the kids are pretty much back to normal. I haven't been, I haven't been since, since the Dry Tortugas uh, road trip, so and that was about a month ago, a little over a month ago, so... I saw a video from someone else. Who was it? There's this new uh, young couple. They they have a schoolie, 
and they they mentioned that there's still uh, some debris on the side of the road, and they went for for New Year's so last week. Uh, Juana, other road. Uh, this is going to clear water January 17 through 19, so I can see our host sometime maybe Thursday. Also want to visit winter at Clearwater Aquarium. I have never been to the Clearwater Aquarium. Cool. Maybe I can drag our host to the aquarium. Eh, maybe. Uh, I'm in shock from, uh, from Saudi Arabia. Hello, Saudi Arabia. Uh, it must be the middle of the night in Saudi Arabia. Cool. <laughs> uh, hello, Robert. Hey, Hamad. Uh, uh, rather warm cities. My uh, this my second trip to Florida was amazing. I must say, I love the St. Pete Beach area. Yes, I uh, that 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 whole area I liked it a lot too. I, I'm, I'm I'm hoping uh, to go again uh, this year. Uh, would like to I would like to move to Tampa or Tap Channel. Uh, you can fly the drone there. What do you think about that area economically? And it is safer than Miami. I, I suppose some areas are safer than Miami. I mean, my, Miami is pretty safe for the most part. It's just too expensive here. But my, for the most part, you only, you only, uh, if you avoid certain areas, Miami is very safe. Would you ever go to Mexico to RV? Yes, definitely. Not, not uh, probably not this year or the next. But eventually, I do want to. I go to Mexico, I, I want to do Baja all the way to Cabo, and if, eventually also do the inland uh, uh, portion for sure. I've heard it's, um, it's actually not, not a, it's pretty safe, unlike on, on, on what, what other people uh, say. Let me get, hey Robert, uh, why the earbuds? Well, the earbuds are pretty much just to use the microphone and to, to, to listen to, to whatever music I play for you guys, I can listen through the, to, through the headphones and not uh, through the speakers in the computer. Uh, Grandma Patty, you're early. No, you're late. No, I, I just started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to 6 p.m. and maybe extend it a little more because some people from Europe, uh, mainly from, from main, from the UK, uh, said that it was a little late for them. So I'm going back and forth. Six. Next, next week we'll probably be broadcasting somewhere in in the west coast of Florida. So it, I may or may not be able to. To do the to do the live broadcast, uh, Alex Cruz. Hey Robert, you ever think about doing a road trip from east to west on Route 66? No, but in now when I go to Arizona, I plan to do a, a section of Route 66, probably from um, from Flagstaff through uh, to Albuquerque or through to Amarillo, Amarillo, Texas. Actually, I probably do that whole section. Uh, holy cow, Robert, send us some heat. Minus 31 here in Ontario, Canada. Oh, I cannot even imagine what that feels like. Is that term minus 31 um, Celsius or Fahrenheit? Probably Celsius, right? Although there's a point, uh, is, is it at minus 40 or minus 60 that Fahrenheit and Celsius uh, aren't the same? I forgot. Not North Miami. This drama, hey, Patty, yes, he spoke about time changing his podcast. Woo he also gave me some blurbs about my channel and Buck Tower. Yeah. Everybody check out uh, uh, this traveler uh, <coughs> channel. He went to Buck Tower. It was, it's, it's a very cool place in Central Florida. Do you have the dates you are planning to be in Quartzsite? Um, I don't have an exact date because I don't know how long it's going to take me from Florida to Quartzsite, but I, it's late uh, February. I mean, late late January. I'm going to miss the RTR for sure, but I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get the, 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 the final leg of the, of the RV show. So that's the plan anyways. Happy New Year from the UK. Hey, Darren, Happy New Year. Hello from Clearwater, Florida, Coco79. What with Sono? No comprende. Uh, Hamed Postaggi, what, what with Sono? I, I need to find my good mic that works on my Canon Vixia camcorder. I got my mom a, a Canon Vixia. She wanted a camcorder to, for, for her trip. It seems to be a, a good product. It's very light, very good, and it has an external mic input, which is very nice. I try one mic and then I pick anything up. It is snowing. It's snowing, right? No, in Miami, it's uh, it's very nice actually. This morning was kind of chilly. I won't deny it. I went outside to, to, for my morning jog, and I went to the corner and came back home. It's um, 
Uh, yeah. Sultan, uh, have you thought about Europe? Well, the, uh, we're thinking Europe in... Actually, no, we're not thinking. We, we, we're doing Europe in June. Um, uh, uh, YouTube friend of, uh, of, of ours, Piteri Vahakan, uh, he, he owns a, an RV rental place and he offered to, to give me an RV, so I'm going to take him up on that offer. Uh, and practice my stick shift driving, for sure. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Uh, John from... Gardner, Massachusetts, a temperature one degree, wind chill factor minus 21 below zero. What do you think of that one? I have no idea. I've never felt that the coldest I've been is probably in the 20s. And that was uh, uh, in, uh, in Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. In the mid-40s here in Stillwater, Oklahoma. That's not so bad. It was mid-40s this morning at 7 a.m. here in Florida. And as I said, I went out and came right back on, back, back home. But in the afternoon, it was a beautiful day. It was in the 50s, 60s. I, I painted the house. You know, Do you know if Marco Island is as uh, recovered from the hurricane? I have no idea. I haven't been there. But uh, I suppose, yeah. Um, I suppose probably Marco Island is 99% recovered. I don't think. Uh, uh, Happy New Year. Are you planning on going to Oregon Coast uh, probably next year? Uh, for sure, I want to do the, the whole uh, Pacific Northwest, Oregon, Washington State, and maybe a couple of the states, England, Montana, and, and all that. Uh, love your Florida videos. They make me remember my time as a cruise ship waiter for two years. I miss Miami and Key West. Oh, you were a cruise ship waiter. I was a cruise ship DJ for two weeks. <laughs> this was probably... Around 1994, I don't know, I forgot. Uh, there's a lakeside BLM camping at Lake Meredith, 30 miles north of Amarillo. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see a couple of things around Amarillo. There's a Palo Duro Canyon too, I think. I think. Key West number one, Ernie Price. Yeah, Key West is cool. I'm making a new video about Key West, and I was editing it, editing it, editing it, editing it, editing it this afternoon. It's one of those, uh, I want to do it my top 10, Key West. You'll see it in a, in a week or two. Uh, hi, Robert. What's good not uh, to, a touristy stop from Miami to Orlando? A not too touristic stop from Miami to Orlando? I like that uh, Buck Tower uh, Gardens, and I missed uh, the... Oh, I'm missing all these uh, messages. Uh, take a drink. You look thirsty. Yes, I actually. There, salute. 41, north of Orlando. Yeah, no, you, you, no, Orlando is usually 10 degrees colder than us and when this type of weather happens. Have you given any thought of Spanish version of riding in my RV? Yes, I have, actually. And uh, as a joke, but if, eventually I might make one. Uh, you're getting on in the 30s by 5 or 6 a.m., cool. Uh, da, da, da. Let me see if I'm missing anything. Two weeks, uh, such a long carrier. Yeah, the Spanish version of riding with my RV would go something like, because uh, RV, in, especially in, Euro in Europe, is caravana, caravan, caravana. So, ando en mi caravana, voy donde me dé la gana. Something like that. Porque soy libre en mi caravana. I don't know, it doesn't really quite ring as, as, good, as good as the English version, but I'm working on it. Of course, it's weather app uh, says different. Okay, uh, to cold, um, the cold front was a reminder of the hurricane hitting in Orlando. Uh, Antrit, hey Antrit, have you ever been in Montana? We'll buy you a beer called Moose Drool. Um, uh, next year, man, next year uh, I plan to do the Pacific Northwest. It's probably going to be... Um, the state number 46 of my lower 48 uh, goal, but we'll see. This trip to Finland is going to set me back a couple of uh, states, but we'll see. Favorite bands or music to listen to? I listen to a lot of stuff. Um, I, I used to like Miami Sound Machine back in, in the 80s, of course, but I, I listen to a lot of stuff. I listen to rock, to jazz. I don't listen to a lot of the newer stuff, but um, Happy New Year, William Storm. Thanks a lot for the for 
shared. Nice videos you shared with us in 2017. Good luck with your enterprise in the new year. Greetings from Bruges, Belgium. And someday I'm going to make it back to Bruges, Belgium for sure. Tap channel, what editing software you're using? Well, I, I use a Final Cut Pro 99% um, of the time. And then for the graphics and stuff, sometimes I, I, I put them together in, in, mo in motion. And of course, I use uh, Adobe Photoshop for the still pictures. The first Dennis was just opened in the UK. What do you think of Dennis? Uh, good, not great. It's, it's a good, you know, in a pinch, it's a good breakfast. I like the, the moons over my hammy sandwich. We have a Mr. Buddy propane heater in our house and electric heater in the camper due to the freezes at night. It's like camping at home, lol. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do with the cold weather uh, up north uh, with Minitini. We'll see. Love fish and ships. I do too. Un caravan. Uh, that's in French, right? Uh, like that. Paloduro Canyon and then go a few miles south to see the, pa the Panhandle Museum that shows how cowboys, cowboys and settlers lived. Also dinosaurs. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah I have a, a bunch of places written down. Uh, what happened to the search in Google for attempts that you're questioning about? I don't know, my, my Google, uh, my OK Google is not working too well. 1.17 a.m. here, Robert, uh, and uh, 1.17, that would be in, mid in Central Europe. I forgot where you're from, the, the Leminkainen. I know in Western Europe it's six hours, right? My favorite 80s TV program, Miami Vice. Did you like it? I didn't watch a, a whole lot of it. Actually, it was very famous when I lived in Spain in 1987. So I saw, watched a little bit, but they, it, it was horribly dubbed into Spanish, which was the only language I understood at the time. So it was, that was helpful. But uh, yeah, I used to like it, but I didn't see much of it. And um, excellent video of Mount Dora visit you did. Yeah, Mount Dora is very, very nice. I want to see it at, at a different time when it's not Christmas, see if it is a, as charming a town, but yeah. How do you do up music? Yes, I do like do up as well. Uh, I liked Flipper. Yeah, I, I watched every single episode of Flipper. They, they did, uh, when I was a kid, they did uh, put that on TV in Cuba, believe it or not. Um, uh, great, uh, you're most welcome. Thank you, yeah, uh, William. Uh, what's the approximate route of your road trip? Well, as I'm going west, probably I'm going to be hugging I-10 for the most part. And going east, I'm going to go north Route 66. I don't have a, an exact route yet, but that, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I talked about that in the podcast. Yeah, in the podcast, I, I, I really uh, uh, laid it out uh, with a little more detail uh, for sure. Uh, near Buck Tower is the university with amazing uh, Frank Lloyd Wright building and tours. We loved it. Yeah, Buck Tower, that Lake Wells area is very nice. And there's a, there's a park in the middle of town with the, the lake. Uh, it's, it's a great place to stop with your RV and have lunch. I've done that. Hey, Robert, how... Uh, oh, by the way, Octavia from North Carolina. Hey, Robert, how about any thought of going to see the Falcon Heavy lunch at Cape Canaveral? Um, no, don't know when uh, that's going to happen. Maybe it, maybe that would be a good idea. Rich Family TV official Trouble Rubber Detailer here. Yes, that's for sure. How are you doing, uh, Randall? It's, it's, it's nice to have you here, man. Uh, Hamed, hey, Robert, what do you think? No, I have no idea. Rich Family, did you get a great job at doing Minitini? Yes, I, it's, it's getting dirty again. By the way, <laughs> uh, with all this uh, weather we've had, uh, so would you ever do a live story video? Yes, I, I, I have that in, my, in mind, but it's, it's one of those projects that it's going to be a lot of work because I have to dig a lot of, uh, I, I, I want to dig a lot of pictures and some early video from the late 80s and early 90s. But uh, eventually, I'm gonna make it. Maybe mid-year, maybe for, maybe sometime in the middle of the year, I'll, I'll finish that uh, video. Original flipper, yes, very South Florida, yes. Uh, have you been to Silver Springs? 
and you see and seeing the mermaids at wiki watch it yet but no but i intend to do that now in in, in mid-january when i go to that area we've been dying to go and don't know if it's worth it but i'll let you know um uh, silver spring uh, I, I don't know but they, they wiki watch it they have two shows they have like the little mermaid for the movie i'm gonna do the other show that they like eat and drink underwater it should be interesting uh, and you were born in the U.S. or do you are, are from Cuba? You receive U.S. citizen citizenship later in your life. Well, I, yes, I, I I came to United States via Spain. I, I lived a year and three months in Spain, and then I arrived here. I got the the, red, the green card a year after, and the five years after, you know, we we were able to apply for citizenship, and the rest is history. Yeah, I've been a citizen since 1995. We loved your Mars video. Thank you very much. <laughs> Happy New Year, Robert. Hope all is well. Yes, a big dog. All is great, man. Uh, you should have a PBS show. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll contact them. But, you know, uh, I'm going to concentrate for now on re growing this uh, YouTube show that we have. And, and if we grow enough, we won't need PBS. I live near Cape Canaveral. Well, yeah, you have. What's that? The name of that road that go that ends up at, at Titusville. Uh, by the way, I did go for the final um, space shuttle launch, and that was in two thousand nine. Was no twenty eleven. I drove to Cape Canaveral, slept in the car at Titusville, and. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I do have a video somewhere in YouTube, but back then I didn't have any subscribers and it never got much traction, but yeah, I did take a video. Coco Beach, e e okay, Alex, is e it's this month, no date yet, but on the pad. Well, if I'm nearby, I might, I might, uh, I mean, from Tampa is quite a, quite a way to, to drive there, but. I might do it. I heard the blue moon this month will be a lunar eclipse. Yeah, there's a lunar eclipse uh, later in the month. I have it in my schedule here because um, ooh, lunar eclipse said on the 31st, January 31st, there's going to be a lunar eclipse. Um, yeah, the launch, the launch, yes, blue moon. Okay. Uh, yeah, this traveler, Eric, is uh, ahead of me. And thank you, Grandma Patty, for uh, that super chat. I really appreciate it. It's uh, um, and yeah, maybe we can all watch the the the, the lunar eclipse at, uh, virtually together. I might do a live video. Who knows? I was hoping that you could do a video about the Christmas lights around Miami. Maybe next year. Well, you know, I was gonna do it. I was gonna go to. Actually, I, w I, w I was gonna do Santa's Enchanted Forest, which is like a like this. Uh, you know, it's like a fair that we have in Miami. It's like a tradition every every Christmas, but. Um, I um I never got around to do it. I, I, whenever we, I, I, whenever we, we wanted to go out, out uh, today, I didn't feel like doing it. Or the, 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 something happened, and uh, this year we never got to do it. But next year, for sure. Anyone in the keys? Oh man, uh, the keys. Who's in the keys? Oh man, this I need some serious WD forty for this chair. No, I haven't. Uh, have you camped in, in Camp Town in Flagler Beach? No, but it's definitely on the list. That's like Destin or a red coconut, you know, that, that you are parked right there next to the water. L really looking forward to it. Lillian Fan, hello from Germany. Hello, Germany. Deutschland. Thank you. Thank you for watching from Germany. Um, when are you going to make it to Europe trip with the RV? Well, uh, that, as I said it earlier, it, in, in June, I'm going to go to Finland. Um, all the way north to Lapland and uh, Lofoten in Norway, if, if if all goes well. Hey, Robert, when you make you okay, okay, I read it, I, I read that already. Sultan, isn't it? Your videos looking so professional. I'm surprised that no travel channels picked uh, up your works yet. I don't I don't think they know about about me yet, but who knows? Um, RK, what's your opinion on Winnebago's nitrogen filled tires? And brand replacement tire. What brand replacement tires would you use? I don't. I don't think nitrogen nitrogen makes that big of a difference. 
I think that the main thing with nitrogen is that the molecules are bigger, so it takes longer for you to lose air. But I don't see any difference with regular, you know, air uh, atmosphere. And I did replace my tires, uh, but I have no idea what brand I, I, I don't remember what brand I used. It's the one that seemed uh, uh, best. I wanted to get something like a Michelin or Goodyear, you know, a good uh, brand, but uh, I do think what I got was, was still a Chinese knockoff. But th 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 they're better than the ones that came with the RV. They, they've lasted longer for sure. Your Mars video, do you have any recipes you love to make when you RV? Well, when you when I RV and I have an RV that, that long in that long, uh, you know, the my my recipes are more limited, but I still love to make the, the same stuff that I make here at home. I love I love uh, that stew that I make is probably too complicated for the RV, but it's simpler stuff. I'm gonna try to do more uh, cooking videos now in the in the upcoming trip. Folks on the East Coast will not be able to see the lunar eclipse as it will occur when the moon sets in the West, but those who are in California can see it. Oh well, I obviously didn't do enough research on that one, huh? <laughs> Germany. Hello, Germany. My daughter-in-law is from Munich. Oh, cool. Hi from the UK. It's cold in Europe. Is it cold in Europe? I don't think it's as cold as in the United States right now. Uh, to make a Cuban head explode, order coffee, no sugar. Oh, <laughs> I've been trying to, uh, the, the sugarless coffee, but I still like the, the regular one. Although sugar is bad for you, but... Uh, RV with Tito. Met some guys in Utah from Finland who shipped their RV to the States for a one-year trip. Wouldn't that be nice? I, w I would love to ship my RV. Or actually, in Europe, the infrastructure is so different that maybe I, I would get a, an RV with a, with a cassette a toilet. But I would love to, to do like... A, at least three months in Europe. Hi, hey Robert. Happy New Year 2018 from Jackie Trujillo. Be careful with your chair. Don't want you to get hurt. Yeah, this chair is uh, it's old. The one in the RV is uh, newer. Doesn't make that noise. Uh, from Darmstadt uh, near Frankfurt. Cool. Yeah, I, have, I have been in Germany, but I haven't traveled much. Uh, other than Dusseldorf, where I was. What do you use to lever your trailer? Well, I have one of those little round levels that you put on the floor. I put it on the floor in the in the front compartment. And that's a, the simple trick first, is side to side, and I use uh, those, uh, they, it's uh, the Lynx uh, leveling system. It's like a, you, you put them together like Legos. And it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it works, you know. And once once you, uh, um, you know, make sure your both sides are at the same level, then you unhitch the vehicle and then you level it from front to back. It's fairly straightforward. It's, it never comes out perfect, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, LOL, okay. What's your first RV trip of 2018 going to be? Well, we're going to Crystal River and then Tampa and the RV show and then west nonstop if all goes well. Freezing our booties in Connecticut. Yeah, you hope you're warm and toasty. Well, outside is, is uh, the temperature is dropping. It's probably going to be in the 40s tonight again, but high 40s, I think. And um, yeah, <coughs> this, is the, this is the right time to be in Florida or the south. Uh, me and my family like your videos. Thank you so much, Octavia. Uh, Antrit, how long do you leave the Christmas tree up? I take my down when the wife complains in February. Um, I, lately, I've been doing a very simple Christmas tree. So I just, uh, it's a little thing like this. The, the, the one that you saw back there. So it's, uh, it's easy to take down. I, I haven't been very big into decorations for a couple of years. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll start decorating the RV now. Uh, some of the best videos on YouTube. Thank you so much. It's not that cold in Europe. Uh, four to ten Celsius, which is what in the in the high thirties, forties. So yeah, Happy New Year from LJ Georgia. LJ, I wish I had known you were here. At Pl you were at Plum Nelly. Yeah, I, I was there for only two nights, but I really liked it, the area. And definitely, definitely going back to LJ. Maybe even next year. 
I mean, maybe maybe even this year, because in order to get uh, north from here, we have to pass through Georgia. It's the, the next state, but I don't know if uh, maybe never know. Really liked it. But uh, going back to Antwerp, by the, when I used to have an elaborate uh, Christmas tree, it would probably last until February. Yeah. <laughs> My wife wants to know why you don't uh, pet on board. Um, no, I've, it's mainly for more freedom to 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 travel. You know, if you have a pet on board, uh, um, you it's, it's it's another thing that you have to take care of. Um, and at the time, at the moment, I don't. Uh, I I rather not have something in the back of my mind that I have to return to the RV to to take care of a pet. That's. Pretty much it. Five degrees in New Hampshire. Oh, five degrees in New Hampshire. You guys up there are covered in snow. Con leche or bucci? I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're talking about coffee, right? I actually like my Cuban coffee straight up with a bit of sugar. Um, do you do any singing gigs that not private parties? I used to, but lately it's... Uh, no, I haven't done uh, much. Um, I did back in the day, and it, it was uh, I aged ten years during those years that uh, that I did every Friday and Saturday night until three a.m. Oh man! Have you ever found a place and you wanted to stay, never leave? <laughs> not yet. Not really. I I think even. Uh, one of the places that I've liked the most, uh, I would still like to to travel. I mean, Miami is probably always going to be home because I've been here for so long. But um, uh, the, the the North Georgia mountains, Tennessee, and Mount Lachey in, in in Western Florida. I don't know. Happy New Year from Buenos Aires. Big fan of your channels. Happy New Year. Feliz año. From Miami. Uh, if you're going to Europe, I recommend Switzerland, especially Lake Bri Brienz and uh, Grid Grindelwald. Yeah, it's Switzerland at some point for sure. I love mountains, so I'm going to love Switzerland. Do you have any plans to do a road trip on Lincoln National Highway or Route 66? Yeah, Route 66 is in the plans from from Flagstaff to Amarillo at, at, at some point in February. Uh, Robert, a buddy and I want to make a road trip on the East Coast in 2019. Which route would you recommend for October, November, and where would you start with the RV? Well, it, it really depends. October, November, you, you should really uh, uh, start north maybe to see the, um, the turning of the leaves. I uh, hear it's beautiful. But the East Coast is so vast that I don't know exactly what you, what you want to do. You want to do Miami to New York. You want to do New England. Uh, you may want to go out to the Outer Banks. In Mesa today, 77. Well, that's very pleasant. Mesa, that's like east of uh, Phoenix. What does the tasty guitar solo on... Who does the tasty guitar solo in driving my RV? Well, I, I do all the instruments, although I do think it's a... Uh, I, I did it with a keyboard. But yeah. Hello, Robert, from Cold Snowy, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's cold. It's, it's, it's even cool here for us. Do you want to do a public event? Yeah, I would do. I would do. I have all the equipment here. I have my speakers and everything. I just, it's just, um, it's hard to do an event. But you know, I used to play with a with a group of people with a band, and and um, to be honest, really, I haven't uh, I haven't done it in a while. And then people, the thing with with uh, public events, if you play like at a at a restaurant or a nightclub or whatever. They expect you to know like all the latest uh, music, and I, and I have been out of the loop for a, for a little bit. So 
but I but I can sing you all the Spanish classics. That's for sure. Happy New Year from Riverdale, Georgia. Happy New Year. Big dog. 26, uh, 26-able. You're a good man, Robert. Amazing voice. Uh, True broadcaster. Thank you so much. Ooh, sorry. That beer. One of my favorite places in USA is Lake Tahoe in California. That's uh, between uh, California and uh, Nevada, Nevada, right? One of the places where I went to uh, to to visit. Definitely, it's it's so so much. Maybe in this trip going west, I might uh, dip into California, like around uh, Joshua Tree and uh, Slab City and um, Salton Sea. I might do a just a quick loop inside California, but I'm not sure yet. Very likable guy, thank you. All your video very beautiful, but uh, not see you in Hawaii. Um, well, it's gonna be hard to take the RV to Hawaii, but I do plan to go to Hawaii uh, at some point. It may be my last state, my 50th uh, state, but yeah, I'll text you. I know a place is looking for different talent. Okay, cool, Alex, let me know. Uh, you can sing us a song tonight. Yes, of course. RV with Tito. Uh, yeah, I did the band thing too for 14 years back in the day. Yeah, you, you. I, I, I guess you get worn out after after a while, and um, I, I might do it again at at some day. But right now, I I'm concentrating more on 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 the video production of things. Spend two hours digging snow in my driveway here in Maryland today. 16 degrees. Ouch. 16 degrees. Yeah, I don't know. I, I want to experience the snow at some point, but I just want to see it. Don't want to shovel it. Um, what's the largest place you found yourself? The, no, the, no, the lamest place you found yourself on your vast uh, journeys. Oh, there's a couple of lame places. I mean, I'm one of these those people who find something interesting pretty much everywhere. But there are some places, of course, that oh, what was it? Uh, there's this place. I don't, I don't want to, uh, you know, <laughs> offend anybody from anywhere. But I'm trying to think. But even the need in Florida was was nice. Oh, what would be lame, like? I'll think of something. I'll think. I'll think of something before the before the end of the broadcast uh, for sure. I subscribe to Robert another channel, but uh, Tula's Endless Summer better than regular TV. I want to check uh, Tula's Endless Summer. A uh, Happy New Year from Orlando. Happy New Year, uh, Corinne Noreen. Uh, you know my eyesight is going. I, I used to. Be with glasses now, even with or no glasses. I guess these letters are too small. I wish I could get Cuban bread. We don't have it in Arizona. Uh, I like. I remember going to Publix and buying it for one dollar. I, I I think it's still one dollar. Uh, four twenty. It's four twenty somewhere. It's six forty now. <laughs> I'm in Columbus, but uh, moving to Bethany. Uh, okay, that's oh in Maryland. Okay, you guys are talking amongst yourselves. <laughs> Uh, I'm still trying to think of that lame place, but, um, oops. Okay, Loveless Cafe in Tennessee. The, 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 what's it called? The, the hash brown, the hash, no. Yeah, hash brown casserole was amazing, but uh, other than that, it was kind of lame. Uh, what else? Um... Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm really trying really, really hard to think here. Um, Some place that was like totally uh, like not good. And I can't think of a place. <laughs> uh, I will have to go and cook now. See you soon, Rob. Okay, Octavia. Cheers. Have a nice uh, evening here on this, uh, on this uh, Friday evening. The last uh, live video from Miami in a while. Lame, Helen, I wouldn't call it lame in the sense that I can see how some people might like it and, and, and at some other time of the year it might be nice. But um, 
and they say that the tubing on the river is uh, amazing. Um, it's it, it's not it doesn't fall in the category of let me fall in the category that I didn't have a good time, and uh, and people were, uh, I mean the people who were in the services were rude, and that kind of thing. But no, nah, it's okay. It's lame. Helen is lame. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nashville. Okay, somebody agrees with me about Loveless Cafe. Uh, are you going to do a cooking video? Yes, I am. It's harder than it... I, I thought it was going to be like really easy, just putting the camera on myself and cook. But then when I cook and I know the camera is there looking at me, I don't do it exactly... Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't do it exactly the same way as I do it normally. Like today I made a, a linguine. Oh my God. You should... I, w I wish I could just put it here and send it to, to you via a, a 3D printer or something. I did a linguine with sausages and I put bacon and I put some um, some mushrooms in it. And then, you know, all my secret ingredients, you know, a lot of onions and and sweet peppers and, uh, and garlic, of course. And then smoked paprika, uh, oregano and cumin. And of course, salt and pepper. Oh, it was... To die for and some some nice you know the nicer tomato sauce you know to do do uh, where are we here I lost my train of thought okay the the, the new mall in Miami looks uh, awesome oh great Scott you already saw it you are you are a Patreon you are a patron nobody else has seen it here except you and Eric and uh, Grandma Patty and uh, a couple of the patrons. And uh, that that video is coming out on Sunday, and yeah, that that mall is is very. I don't, it's not even completed yet. It's not even fully uh, booked yet. A lot of the stores are still uh, empty, but yeah, that place uh, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's brought a lot of traffic to to downtown Miami to that area, but uh, yeah, it's, it's very pretty. And uh, do you ever make a video uh, on Boca Raton? Well, it's part of uh, it's part of uh, uh, one video from Del Rey Beach. It's called Del Rey and Boca Raton or something like that. And we did go to Boca to downtown Boca. I think with Boca, we we wanted to go look to some park to see like a scenic view. And everything is private. Uh, everything by the near the river and all that. It was in uh, maybe we could would have gone in. Everything looked like golf courses and in and, uh, like private property and intimidating. So. But we did uh, go to a bar in the downtown area that I don't remember. It's a it's a mall that it has a uh, a monument to the to the Armenian Holocaust. But 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 but, but that's not why it's fun. The mall is fun because it has a couple of bars and a couple of places. And uh, and uh, I will maybe I'll put a link to that video. Uh, putting a new roof on. Have a great week. And I hope we can meet up in Mesa, Arizona when you are out this way. Hope so too. Remind me. Uh, remind me in, in late January. And um, definitely, I'll, I'm going to be there sometime in, in late January. Maybe two or two, two days at the most, or three days. Uh, the Space Needle in Seattle was lame for me. Way overpriced uh, just to see the view. Well, you know, not in the United States, but and uh, I'm sorry, my uh, friends in the UK, but the Shard in London is a ripoff and very, very lame. <laughs> it's it was uh, twenty pounds with at the time, or twenty five pounds with at the time. I, I I made the math. The four of us, it was like two hundred bucks, and there's nothing. It's just an elevator, and you you go up there, and uh, and they make you buy a, a glass of champagne. Grandma Patty made bean burgers. Bean burgers, huh? Hmm, interesting. The English gamer, are you born in America? I was born in the island of Cuba, but I came here uh, very young at 17. <laughs> Sounds awful, Granny. Uh, what's your favorite way to announce your presence in a room? Well, actually, I'd rather not announce my presence. <laughs> Uh, they're delicious. Well, so, well, hopefully someday we'll get to try them, uh, uh, Patty, uh, for sure. Uh, Gustavo Salazar, hello, Robert. Happy New Year. I wait for you in Colombia. I want to be your guide. Where in Colombia? Are you Bogotá, Medellín, Barranquilla, um, Cali? 
Uh, I do want to go to Colombia at some point. Uh, you know, I've never been to South America anywhere. Being born in a, in a Latin American country. And malls are going away in most places, it seems. Yes, it does. I've, I've, I've seen uh, some videos of uh, deserted malls. And for some reason, they keep building them here in Miami. But they're different malls. Now, now that the malls are like attractions in themselves and they have like a, a lot of restaurants. And it's not, it's not shopping only anymore. Now they have attractions and water parks. And they're, try, they're trying to reinvent the mall now that everybody buys on Amazon. Have you seen the Star Wars movie yet? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It was fun. It was it was it was a nice ride. I I, I really liked the the special effects and the the, uh, the sound mixing was amazing. But I think at the, in the end, I think it dragged a little bit. I don't know. Episode four is still my favorite. It will always be my favorite. The original, the nineteen seventy seven uh, version. No more brick and mortar. Yeah, it's it's uh, the. Alex Cruz, Gustavo Salazar, take him to Parapente in Medellín if he goes. Okay. Go shall Uncle Rob or, or hey, hello, uh, um, nephew from the Netherlands. All right. Uh, Bogota. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely want to go to Colombia at, at some point. Maybe sooner than later. Maybe maybe once I finish my, my 48 states, I'll, I'll do a, a South America trip. Okay, here we get it. We get back. Well, hold on, and we're getting the the recipe for the for the bean burgers: mashed black beans and peppers, onion, spices, brown rice flour, tomato powder, and salsa. Hmm, seems nice. Alejandro Garcia, muy buenas noches, Robert. Felicidades por año nuevo para usted y su familia. Me gustó muchísimo los videos que hizo allá en Las Vegas. Muchos buen, muy buenos como siempre. Saludos y abrazos. Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you very much. Eh, muchas gracias por ver los videos. Y me alegro que te haya gustado. Eh, hey, uh, I, I got to run. I'm going to try and do my trailer for my YouTube channel tomorrow. Found uh, me a covered wagon near Wildwood. But need a good mic. Good luck, man. Good luck, Eric. And uh, Wildwood, Florida. That's a little further north from you. That's where, where uh, the turnpike meets with I-75, I do believe. Well, cheers to you. And I can't wait to see that trailer. I have to update my, uh, mine at some point. Um, the English game are going almost 1 a.m. Yes, yeah, past, past your bedtime for sure. So, um, hey, okay, Camo, Camo Digital, I'm a preacher and I lost uh, the message. Experimenting with a uh, whole food plant based. Yeah, Patty. I still want to try that burger. At some point. I want to try that recipe. I might put some picadillo in it. But... Hi, Robert. Happy 2018. Donde viajamos ahora? Eh... Okay, hold on. Uh, recipes from Pinterest. Come to Chile. Yeah, the Chile. You, you know what I want to say? I want to I wanna do the Pan American Highway at some point. I just need to figure out how to move the RV from Panama to Colombia, and then we'll be fine. I think I'm gonna do it with, a, with probably when I get a, a class C or a class B plus or a B. Uh, Joseph for Christmas, I, and I lost. If if I lost your message, post it again because it's a very long country we have here. Oh, Chile, oh, definitely. <laughs> um, from desert to the icebergs, yeah, and and, and I would love to to, to visit Chile. I've, I've had some friends from Chile, very cool people, and um, and I like the wines, the Carmenere wines, very nice. Hey, from P Pell Bay, Canada, I'm saved. It must be cold up there. Camo Digital, please refrain from preaching. Oh, I guess I missed that. Hello, chatter of teeth. Fourteen below in Michigan. I guess we won't go be going to the to the UP this time of the year. Uh, got to go. Bye, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Alex. Uh, I'll text you some info. The place looking for new talent. Salute. Yeah, definitely. We will we, we'll check it out. Although I'm gonna be out of town for like a month, uh, I, I think. So, uh, Robert, what's the best RV show in your area? 
Uh, if you're willing to drive four mile four hours, uh, Tampa. Tampa, and now coming in January, the best RV show because they have everything. Although La Mesa RV uh, does um, an RV show like every other month, right here by, used to be called Joe Robbie Stadium, I think it's the, you know, the Dolphin Stadium, uh, Hard Rock Stadium. They do it on one of the parking lots, and, uh, and it's pretty good. I love fresh carrot juice. I love fresh carrot cake. <laughs> Okay, I'm being naughty, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's the villages, and I've seen the covered wagons on my way to the uh, Dames uh, Tavering. Mm -hmm. Did you ever go on any ski trips? No, it's one of the, the things that I, that I would have loved uh, to learn in life, but I never learned how to ski, and I might still be able to learn, but it would be cool. Uh, actually, you know what I like to eat? Uh, you guys talking about veggies and I like to eat raw carrots. I love raw carrots. I just love, love to like, like, like Bugs Bunny, just like that. Uh, greetings from Belgium. Happy New Year. Oh, it's uh, 1 a.m. in Bel Belgium. Thank you very much for being here. Um, uh, okay, Birnberger have, um, hey, you can visit our, our Chile here at our place. I mean, Chile. Cool. I, I, do, I do want to visit the country, the, the, the long country west of the Andes in South America. That would be great. Actually, I, I, want to, I want to visit both Chile and Argentina, which is the, the southern cone of South America. And, they, and they, at the border, in the, in the middle of the Andes, they have like a crucifix that, uh, that I want to see too. I want to drive over the Andes. That would be an awesome trip. YouTube has a lot of great recipes. Okay, you guys, okay, you guys are talking about, uh, still about the... About the oh, banana muffin, son. Hmm. Have you ever been to a place where you have not felt safe? It's been sketchy, you know. You uh, there, there was uh, this area in. Um, it's one of those places where where you, you sometimes you get your guard up it because you don't know if it is safe or, or unsafe. There was a neighborhood in, in. Um, Man, where we went to get the, the, the frozen custard. Um, where, where, but why St. Louis? There was a neighborhood in St. Louis that looked that looked kind of sketchy, but it was fine. I mean, not, nothing happened, you know. It's um, maybe at night it would be uh, dangerous, but usually if, if it looks sketchy, I move uh, somewhere else. <clears throat> Exactly what, what Eric says. You have to be aware of your surroundings. Um, and Luis Cantero, Happy New Year from Argentina. You know, I can't wait to go to Argentina. I've, I've had some Argenti uh, Argentine friends. And los pibes dicen que Buenos Aires es la mejor ciudad del mundo. So, you know. Uh, Happy New Year. Uh, and uh, Bay, what's your best, uh, what is your best travel video? Well, the one that people have watched the most is the, my California road trip. I watch it now and I kind of cringe sometimes because I've improved my technique a little bit uh, over the years. Um, my best travel trip was that one or uh, even the Alaska trip that if I ever find that footage, I want, I'm going to re-edit it and, and show it to you guys, even though it's from 2010. That was a great trip. But uh, every every trip is special. You yeah. Have you gone to Hershey Every Show? No, I haven't yet. Uh, Happy New Year from LA. Enjoy your videos. What kind of music do you listen to? Hey, Remy. Uh, I listen to a lot of stuff, uh, or and, and not as much as I used to anymore. Uh, I, 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 okay, in order, I, I, I like some classic rock. I like jazz of, of almost every kind of jazz except free jazz. You know, like the really weird stuff I don't like. I, I like oldies. I like, uh, of course, um, some uh, Latin music. I love salsa because that's the kind of music that I used to make. Uh, I love Brazilian music, especially bossa nova, you know, that kind of jazzy, uh, slower Brazilian music. Uh, I like, uh, I, I listen to a lot of stuff. I, I like uh, classical, believe it, even, you know, I, I'll enjoy a good uh, Rachmaninoff from time to time. You know, it's, it's, it depends on of what mood I'm on. 
um, you have quite an audience, Robert. Well, it's 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 growing. It's growing, and I, I really appreciate every every single person that that watches my videos, and uh, and that's what what makes me able to to make more videos. You know, because because uh, the, the more people watch, the more a little money I make, and uh, it's it's a living. You know. And I'm not following. Okay, how many miles do you think your SUV is good for towing a trailer? Well, it's uh, old key. I just turned uh, one thirty thousand. I think it's at uh, one thirty one now or one thirty two. And uh, I hope it goes at least to one fifty. It needs a it needs a tune up eventually, but I'm, I'm gonna wait until something else breaks. Uh, really. <laughs> I am for his out west. Uh, Valley of Valley of Fire was amazing. Uh, that was a place that I didn't know was there, and uh, I re really enjoyed a lot uh, being there. Best pizza. You know, my best pizza is I, I had it in a corner uh, pizzeria in in Manhattan, in New York. That's probably the pet the best pizza I've ever had. <coughs> Random place. I have no idea where it was. It was like off Broadway and uh, not Broadway, no Fifth. Fifth. It was off Fifth Avenue and uh, I want to say forty something. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. I should. I should get a cough button. Oh, you you were you guys were talking among yourselves about the pizza. Sorry about that. Uh, chickpeas, garlic, lemon juice. So you you guys are are, are making mm, um, soy sauce. Mm. Um, you have become family, Robert. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Joe. Uh, that's great. Does your wife have any say on where you go with your RV? Well, yeah, of course. I like to stuff a pita pocket. Oh, you, Grandma Patty is still talking about food. <laughs> uh, tomatoes and bacon, hot and crunchy. We're gonna have to do a, a, a live our, um, cooking show here. Maybe with uh, split screens. There's this thing called uh, Google Hangouts on Air or something that we could do like collaboration videos all of us together uh, our car battery got replaced for free oh that's nice uh, Eric I, th I thought it was out of warranty as, as you told me but it died everyone said it had to do with the cold weather yeah that's probably it maybe maybe it froze overnight and you didn't even notice it but um, I, I don't know is it me or batteries don't last as long as they used to because I have to replace the battery on old Kia like every year year and a half Luckily, Sears, if they last uh, long enough, they, they keep replacing it. But Sears is like about to kick the bucket, so I don't know. Uh, that That's where I got my batteries diehards, like since forever. Uh, when will I be able to purchase a shirt, a shirt with your face on it? Hmm, that could be arranged. <laughs> I mean, this, this one has my face on it, but it's like, uh, where is it? Here, a tiny little face. And the dealership said they made an error, so I didn't complain, and it was free. Yes. I recently changed uh, the battery in the trailer, too. In the original, it was an in interstate, and um, I think I killed it. I, 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 I mean, it's it's still there. It's, it's it, I have it as a backup, but uh, it doesn't last the 80 amp hours that it's supposed to last, or 40, because you're not supposed to like drain it more than halfway. Um, when it's cold like this, no, uh, uh, Grandma Patty, we had to replace a battery in our Mazda today. Well, I guess that, that cold weather killed everybody's battery, huh? Uh, really enjoy your Miami video. <sighs> Thank you. The Miami video will go live on Sunday. Uh, I made a quick Miami video. It's, it's going to be a quick one. But it's nice. It was a beautiful weather, and uh, it, it it'll be a good thing to to for for the folks uh, up north, covered in snow. Uh, how our winter looks uh, down here. Uh, well, anyways, guys, uh, I think I might uh, start wrapping this up because I'm running out of beer. 
By the way, I think I'm going to make this the official beer of uh, of our live videos, this Detour IPA by Winta Brewery, just because it has a trailer on it. It's a very strong IPA, but it's a double IPA, but it's I like it. It's nice. Okay, Rick Fiddler discovered Max Modelo beer, new favorite, as my Polish ancestors would say, Stolat, 100 years. My favorite Mexican is actually the Dos Equis Amber. But I haven't had a model in, in years, so I might give it a try again. Maybe I'll, it'll become my favorite too. And uh, mini IPA. Yeah, maybe I'll make my own beer eventually. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, yes, as we're speaking, it's 7.03 Eastern uh, Standard Time here. It's uh, one. Um, it's uh, 0 03 UTC 1 a.m. in Europe and it's 4 p.m. West Coast and my LG phone is running out of batteries and my mom is leaving on a plane in about five minutes so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, cut it right here I got cut off guard no so no wine for me so uh, you want me to sing a song I'm starting to talk like Tony Montana now. <sighs> hey, Wandering Travels. Hello, I'm Uncle Robert. It's 10 degrees here in Kentucky. Oh, I bet. Did you go early today? Well, yes, I started at, at 6. I'm going to go back to 6. I can stay for a little while longer if you guys want me to. I have no rush. I could, I could run to the kitchen and, and, get, and grab another beer. <laughs> Um, uh, I thought you guys were getting tired of me here. <laughs> um, yeah, I moved back to 6 p.m. You all are a great bunch. See you all soon. See you soon, Grandma Patty. Uh, see you next week. Hopefully, I, I'll be able to... Um... All right, Eric, later. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to, to broadcast live next uh, Friday from somewhere in the west coast of Florida. Let me go grab my guitar. By the way, I, I think the only time I ever play the guitar anymore is when I talk to you guys. And um, oops, let me do this here. I'm using the microphone. Okay, Darren Craswell, when I was in, in Miami in the summer, I didn't know at the time that I was uh, walking distance of you. If I knew that at the time, I would have knocked on your door for a cup of Cuban coffee. Sure, man. <laughs> Salud. Somebody suggested that I put lyrics to Foothills. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. Foothills. Foothills. Maybe I'll do something like that. Anyways, I have to come up with a new song because every time I just go running with my RV. <laughs> Cheers and beers, and watch out for uh, safety cones. Safety cones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call an Uber now and go to a nearby, a nearby happy hour probably. <laughs> mm. Sarasota siesta aquí and Holmes Beach in Bradenton. Very nice to visit. I, I was, I passed by, but I, I was in Bradenton at the, at the Living the RV Dream. Uh, it was a rally about two and a half years ago. But uh, yeah, that's. And I want to go to. What's it called? I have to. I have to do a proper tuning, but this should be uh, good enough. Everybody saying yes. Um, song for happy hour.
Yeah, cause I'm free by a VA riding in the snow in my RV wherever I want to be I'm free in my RV yeah I'm riding riding in my RV wherever I want to be as I'm free in my army See you next week